Hello, today we're going to be starting a new topic on functions and we're going to start with a short video on something called mapping. Let's try to have a look at what that is. The way you want to think about this is we've got an input and the input is a set of values. Let's just make it simple. One, two, three, four, five, right? So these are the input values and we'll call these X. And what we want to do is we want to have some transformation that maps these values onto a set of output values, right? So we're going to have some rule that's going to take each one of these inputs and maps them to an output. So let's define that rule as this. Let's say that X is mapped onto X minus one. Okay, so just to follow that through, you've got this kind of strange arrow symbol, but really it's not terribly difficult. What we're saying is we start with an input X and that input is transformed to become the output X minus one, right? So the arrow is saying we're going from this input to this output where the output is X minus one. So let's just try to follow that. If, if I start with the X value one, what is my output going to be? Well, it's one minus one, which is zero, right? So this value here is mapped onto zero. We can do it with the next one, right? If I take the X value two, right? It's gonna be mapped onto two minus one, which is one. It goes to there. Two is mapped on. The one and you can see how this is going to apply for all the others three is going to be mapped onto two four is going to be mapped onto three and five is going to be mapped onto four right so just like this this is how the mapping works okay so to clarify again mapping takes a set of input values we call those x and through some rule it maps them on to a set of output values and in this particular case, that rule is x minus 1. Okay, so let's just try another. Let's say, again, we've got the values here. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And let's say that the mapping that we're interested in is x is mapped onto 2x plus 1. Okay, so just to, to clarify there, what do I, how do we refer to this whole thing? We say that x is mapped onto 2x plus 1, right? x is mapped onto 2x plus 1. So let's go through each of the values. Let's start with uh, this one here, 1. How's that going to be transformed? Well, 2 times by 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3. Right, so 1 is mapped onto 3. And we can do the others, right? 2 is mapped on to 5, 3 is mapped on to 7, 4 is mapped on to 9, and 5 is mapped on to 11. You can go and confirm all of those yourself, right? 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5, 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7, and so on, and so forth. Okay? So at the moment, all you've really got to be able to do is to understand this notation here. What does it mean? What is it getting you to do? Okay. Thank you, guys. I hope that was helpful. I'll see you again next time.